<laughs> Hallelujah. Right. So quickly. Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus, Sarai. Right. 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 Amen. Sarai. Right. Right. Back to the angel of Ephesus. Samaria, verse 8. Quickly, verse 8. And to the angel of what? In Samaria, he said what? Right. Right. Verse 12. Verse 12, quickly. And to the angel of what? Church. In Prodamas? Right. Say right. right. Verse 13. Where Satan dwelleth. Another time I'll come and give a deep teaching where Satan seed dwelleth yeah. and that church were located in that kind of culture. Mm -hmm. In the culture. Hallelujah. But I'm, I'm just moving on. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to 18 because I want to share something in verse 18. Under the angel of the church, say Tithira, say right. Chapter 3. Look at chapter 3 quickly. Go over to chapter 3, verse 1. Verse 1. Under the angel of all, the church in? Sarai. Verse 7 quickly. Under the angel of the church in? Philadelphia. Sarai. Verse 14. Under the angel of the church in what? Which is the last church period. Say it again. We are in the last church period. Sarai. God says to John, right, from chapter 2 to chapter 4, he said, chapter 3, he said, right, to the seven right. churches. Amen. All right, go over to Revelation 10. I just want to prove something here. God told, God told him to write. This is going to blow him out. Let's get, get ready for this. Are you ready for this church? Amen. This is my final, final episode. Are you ready for this? Some things, some things can be taught, but some things you have caught it, caught it in the spirit. I may preach some things up in here, and you caught some things that I didn't say. Because you're in the spirit. I don't come to minister to your flesh, I come to speak into your spirit. Not like this emotional preacher, I want to minister into your spirit. I want the spirit of this house to receive the word of the spirit. Hallelujah. So he said to John, right. And what he said to John in Revelation chapter 10. Look in verses 4. Quickly, verse 4. And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, seal up those things with the seven thunders uttered and write them now. Yes, I'm getting the, the real foundation of the sermon today. Is that God told. The God told. The God told. God told John to write from verse chapter two to chapter three, the seven churches. But here you and I see something in the Bible in chapter ten, verses four. God told John, "Do not write." I'm here to put some things down here today. Hallelujah. Yes. The things that John writes under the church of Ephesus, under the church of this, under the church of right, yes. the thunder of the Holy Ghost, Amen. the thunder uttered his voice, yes. Yes. thunder of a voice, yes. and every time a thunder being heard in the earth, God is speaking. John, hear what the thunder said. Yes. And it was in the spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. A prophet or apostle lives in the realms of the spirit. Yeah. If we have an earthquake today, apostles and prophets can tell you what that earthquake meant. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. For anything happening in the realms of the spirit, it will disturb the physical. Yes. It manifests into yeah. the physical. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, church. John heard 
the thunder. And when the seven thunders uttered your voice, I was about to write. For John began to write from chapter 2 to chapter 3. So he intended to continue to write. God said, John, no. And I'm sure he go. God is a God of order. God is a God of, God of religion. Not because God moved this way Sunday service. It must move next week Sunday the same way. God do not like rituals. And pure religious, pure, pure church ministry, pure apostolic, do not link up with rituals. The Holy Ghost set yourself in a way and a way that you are equipped and ready to float the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost can shift the service and say, I don't want the scripture before the song this week. Amen. 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 And I with me. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, and somebody come up on the step and say, no, no, and I'm so you go, you must have the scripture first, then you sing the sanki, then you have another scripture, and say, when I have sanki, that's religion. Amen. That's religion. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Flow with the Holy Spirit. Yes. Is that only happened to John? Guess who it happened to? It happened to Moses. Yes. God said, Moses, what is that in your hand? Right. It's a rod. Yes. Use it. Yes. No, you have the same rod. It's the same rod. Yes. But God never tell Moses this time to use the rod. Became a religion. Yes. And Moses, God said, speak to the rod. He never said use the rod. He said, became full of the spirit of religion. Not because you use a rod and get deliverance the other day. God said you do speak to the rock. Yes. I am using another metal. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We have got to learn to use different metal by the Holy Ghost. You can't allow the adversary to program you. No. No. They know what time the preacher about to come on. The normal time is devotion. The normal time is going to happen. Amen. People are tired of the church program. Yes. Hallelujah. It's not.